Maine is one of two states that can split its electoral votes, but all four of those votes have gone to Democrats in presidential races going back almost three decades. The only way we I asked USM political science professor Ron Schmidt why Trump would choose to visit Maine. I think that that Trump's issue at this point in the campaign is that he's lost some support in areas that are traditionally Republican strongholds, and he needs to find new areas, uh, new groups of voters to try to win over to his cause. But why Portland, the state's largest city, is one of its most liberal? Maine Republican Party Executive Director Jason Savage says Trump is the type of candidate who can appeal to anti-establishment voters, and that means some of the die-hard Bernie Sanders supporters. I don't see Donald Trump as somebody who looks at voter uh, registration uh, as the indicator of where he needs to be and where his message needs to be. I think he's looking for those people who really understand that the, the system's been rigged for a long time in favor of the D.C. elites, and he's out there talking to those people. Savage says Maine is in play. Maine is trending to Republican policies and Republican candidates. Schmidt disagrees and predicts the state will end up blue on the 2016 electoral map. There can be some room for maneuver in midterms when Democrats are less likely to show up. But a presidential election year, I'd be very surprised if, if we moved into the Republican column. That being said, a year ago, I would have told you Donald Trump would never be the nominee of the Republican Party. So, Part of a statement from the chair of the Maine Democratic Party reads, Donald Trump is a fraud who only cares about himself and his dangerous economic policies would cost our economy nearly 3.5 million jobs. Mainers can't afford Trump's reckless approach to our economy. And that jobs figure comes from an analysis released last month by Moody's Analytics. A Hillary Clinton campaign worker here in Maine tells us right now at least there are no immediate plans for Clinton or running mate Tim Kaine to visit us here in Maine. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8. The Republican National Convention gave Trump a bump in the polls, but it may have been temporary. A new CBS News poll out today shows Clinton now leading Trump 46 to 39 percent. That breaks the tie the two candidates were in just last week. Well, later tonight, the Portland City Council will consider a plan to put solar panels at the former Ocean Avenue landfill site. The project would cost about $25,000 a year, but would ultimately save the city more than $3.3 million and generate some 600 silly, uh, 660 kilowatts of renewable energy. Advocates say that is enough power to power City Hall and Merrill Auditorium each year. Tonight's meeting gets underway at 7. One unwanted guest found squatting or rather slithering around a home in Biddeford. Check this out. Winifred Brewster says that she discovered a large snake in a family member's house on Sky Oaks Drive on Saturday. I'm getting the willies just looking at this. As you can see in the picture, the snake is estimated to be several feet long. It was left behind by tenants who couldn't find it when they moved out, but they found it instead. I was going to stay for a few days as I entered. I looked to the left to turn on the light, and all of a sudden, I saw the snake slithering up the window. My goodness. Local police called the main warden service to retrieve the snake over the weekend.